Barbie's this jealous girlfriend who sees all her friends happy and she's alone. So she decides misery loves company and that she has to break them up because if she can't be happy, they can't either. I thought from Barbie marketing that I was going to see a film that was going to be colorful, fun, about my favorite childhood toy. That was going to be Barbie and Ken going on these fun, exciting adventures into the real world. And I was sorely disappointed. Instead, I got a woke lecture on how feminism fights the patriarchy. Before we get into it, if you guys like talking about movies and shows in the games, make sure you like and subscribe so you guys can be a part of our daily discussion. Make sure you guys comment and let us know what you thought of the Barbie movie. Even if it's different than what we think, we want to hear what you guys thought. The Barbie movie would not be doing as well if they had been honest with the marketing. It was obvious that they showed only the fun mm -hmm. and exciting stuff with the colors and then focused solely on Ryan Gosling to sell this film. They had a star-studded cast, but they made sure to show you nothing that had to do with the patriarchy, mm -hmm. feminism, or man-hating. If they had been honest, it would have done as bad as She-Hulk and Velma. But they were creative in knowing that if they showed just the fun stuff mm -hmm. that they could get you in the door. It was like the GQ magazine with Ryan Gosling where he made up the thing of Kennergy. Well, I want you to help me to, uh, about Kennergy. How do we find our Kennergy? It's there the whole time. You've got it so strong, I can feel it right now. Look no further. You are Kenough. <laughs> it's fun, it's campy. And it shows that they knew what they were doing with the marketing because the Barbie film is doing great on its mm -hmm. opening weekend. They knew that this was gonna get people to go see it because it looked like it was gonna be, for once, a fun and exciting film just about Barbie stuff. That was gonna be lighthearted and something you could take your children to. Even when Margot Robbie let it slip when she did an interview saying that it was gonna be a feminist film, Mattel made sure that they came out and backtracked and said it was not a feminist film. Wait, shut your mouth. Shut, shut, your, shut your mouth. Because they know that's not something that people want to go see. They know that parents would never mm -hmm. take their children to go see that type of film and that it's not an exciting idea to sell because they know all the other films that have come out with a feminist slant have not done well. It's like the feminist slant has been so overdone at this point that almost every film has it. Now that it's come out that it's popular, the news is saying how it's proudly feminist. But if it was so proudly feminist, wouldn't they have put that in their marketing mm -hmm. to begin with? So it just goes to show that they don't know how to make their own point. So you guys, they said they're proudly feminist, but in the movie, uh, Ken comes back to Barbie land mm -hmm. after being in the real world and he brings back the patriarchy to Barbie land. You have Ken's actually being respected. Mm -hmm. People listen to him. They have couples. Everyone's happy. Barbie comes back and she's upset because she's like, oh my God, they're all together now and they've been brainwashed. So she decides that she has to insert herself and break them up. So she kidnaps all of them and brainwashes them with her ideologies. Like, bro, that's not what this is. They, weren't ha they were happy beforehand. But you guys, it changes the point because if you're trying to say that feminism is supposed to bring you happiness, they were already happy. Mm -hmm. It more so just seems like Barbie's this jealous girlfriend who sees all her friends happy and she's alone. So she decides misery loves company and that she has to break them up because if she can't be happy, they can't either. They're trying to portray Ken as the villain, but wouldn't it seem that Barbie's the villain mm -hmm. and that Ken just wants everyone to be happy for them to coexist equally? rather than for it to be a totalitarian relationship where only the Barbies have any say. So yeah, Ken leaves, comes back and brings happiness for all of like the Barbie world. She comes back and she's like, no, it has to go back to the way it was. It comes across so petty and cringy. And you guys, why are relationships a bad thing? I've seen a bunch of people just putting in comments that like they don't want to see relationships in films. I enjoy a good relationship, especially because yeah. why can't a healthy relationship be portrayed on film? And then it doesn't make sense as well that when they were in the real world, they said it was like the patriarchy and it's a bad example. Mm -hmm. So they come back to Barbie land and instead of going for equality or and having a relationship with each other, they just want to go back to how it was at the beginning. And it seems like they learned nothing. But you guys, let's talk about this ass slapping scene. So when Ken and Barbie go into the real world, this guy slaps Barbie's ass. I don't understand why it's in there. It's one, completely unrealistic. And anyone who says it is, is a liar. Because in real life, no one in broad daylight, when a girl is with her boyfriend, would someone slap her their ass. And it just seems like they're reaching so far 
But they're just trying to show like how like men are like pigs. Like, oh, they'll do anything to get grab ass. It really just goes to show how these writers feel about men in the real world. Mm -hmm. Because to put that in this film just didn't really make any sense. And I feel like it kind of fell flat. They, uh, these writers just want men to be like simps for women. That's all they want. Why is feminism like the ideology in everything mm -hmm. now? And I feel like these writers think they're being like clever or that they're being radical mm -hmm. in like their storytelling. And in reality, you guys, it's so common. We see it in everything. It's not a new idea. Yeah, it's not clever anymore. It's just been overdone. Yeah, it makes this movie just hilarious because they literally have to say the word patriarchy continuously so that the mm -hmm. viewer knows that they're talking about the patriarchy. It's almost as if they know that their storytelling isn't clear enough mm -hmm. that if they didn't literally say the word patriarchy, you would miss it. The patriarchy. But let's talk about Ken. Like Ryan Gosling as Ken is priceless. I feel like they focused so much on the marketing mm -hmm. around him because they knew he was the central selling point. And also that he's going to be the thing people talk about long after Barbie is like a relic and mm -hmm. this movie is no longer thought about. People will always remember Ryan Gosling as Ken. Yeah, he's going to be immortalized after this as like in meme culture like he already is with Blade Runner. Yeah. And even the GQ interviews they did with mm -hmm. him and it coming up with like the catchphrases catchphrase, of like Kenergy or you are Knuff. I love Knuff. Yeah. <laughs> it's, they knew what they were doing with this marketing by making sure that he was the central point of it because mm -hmm. it's what's going to get any person to go see it. If you're a girl, you're going to go see it because Ryan Gosling's attractive and it was a perfect portrayal of Ken. If you're a guy, it's the perfect portrayal of like a masculine guy oh, yeah. to play Ken in, while being still funny and entertaining. He's just so charismatic. <laughs> yeah. But let us know what you guys thought of the Barbie movie, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.